What's going on guys? Going to do a, a review on this uh, Evaroy steel target. Uh, I've been really, really liking this uh, since I first got it a couple months ago. It's been fantastic and in my opinion far surpasses shooting paper in many respects. I mean paper still has its place and I'll talk a little bit more about uh, an option to shoot paper with this, with this target as well. But anyway, right now I'm just going to be doing some demoing, having some fun. First gun I'm going to be using here is the Walther P22. I'm shooting some uh, CCI stingers here, and that's all. But this first view I'm going to give you of the target. So let me uh, zoom in here. So you can see that uh, lead slapping the, uh, the steel here. Well, let me back out just a little. There we go. Alright, so here we go. I had the safety on. There's ten rounds. Let's get a new magazine here. And let me I'll give you another view here. Hopefully you saw those hitting. You can hear it. Uh, you don't hear it as loud uh, as you do like when you're shooting 9mm or 45. Um, but anyway, let me turn the camera. I'm having some uh, tripod difficulties today, so I can't extend it really high. So this is going to be kind of a weird angle. But anyway, you'll get the point. All right, hopefully you guys can see this. Another 10 rounds. Here we go. So there we go. And let's do another 10 from here. I'll do an under view. Bring it over here. This is under the shooter view. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna have to get a new tripod now. I use this thing so much and I knew eventually it would take a dump on me and today's the day, of course. So here we go. Oh, you know what? Let me angle you up just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Love the target. Like I said, with the uh, steel, you get that instant feedback with the noise. Really, really cool though. Um, love the Walther P22. Great cheap gun to shoot. Uh, as soon as I started running those CCI's, uh, I have no kind of feeding issues or anything like that. I did a full video series on this before, but anyway, absolutely loving the gun. It's very cold out here, but I am loving the view, the target, everything else. So I'm going to bring you guys back down, and I'm going to shoot a couple other guns here. So let me load up. I'll be right back. I haven't shot this guy in a while. This is the Cobra two-shot Derringer. 22 long rifle. Just have some Winchester loads here. Pop these in. Try this on the Evil Roy target. All right. Safety's on. Fully cocked. And here we go. Again, sorry for the weird angle. And I'm just going to have to squat down a little bit when I shoot because I don't want to keep angling this way up. It's kind of funky looking. But anyway, here's a kneeling Derringer shot. Safety's off. Oh, we hit steel. Two for two. Safety's back on. There's our empty shells. Fun little gun, very cheap. I think the prices actually went up on, on these, but they're now still under 
uh, 150 bucks. So fun little gun. And right now I'm not too far from the target. I'm probably, here, let's turn you here. All right, guys, I temporarily fixed my tripod so I can have a normal viewing angle here. But anyway, uh, backed up the camera quite a bit from our target. And we're going to be shooting the Marlin Model 60 22 long rifle semi-automatic rifle with a cheap BSA red dot scope on it. All right, so I got 14 rounds here. Just shoot and seal from a little bit of a distance here. All right. Man, is that cool. I'm shooting this at 75 yards. So let me back out here. And you can see there's an ATV there. No, I'm not gonna shoot it, don't worry about it. I'm also shooting through some uh, hanging willow branches. But let's see if you can hear the steel slap from here. Here we go. Not too shabby. Very accurate gun. Very cool target. Let's uh, let's move back even farther. Well, I hit it twice. What you're looking at here is the Action Targets Evil Roy target. Uh, this is a steel target. It is by far my favorite new target. I've been shooting paper ever since I got in the guns. And the second I got this thing, um, uh, I just, I can't go back to paper. I do shoot paper occasionally. Uh, paper is definitely great for more accuracy. And if you want to really sight a gun in, you can't really do it on steel. Um, if you want to go for real, really just for accuracy shooting, you're going to need paper. Okay. It's obviously more specific to your shots. Um, this is great for any kind of actual training. You know, gunfighting training, defensive training, stuff like that. If you're a CCW holder, um, this is a great, great uh, target to have. Um, like many people have said before in different videos, you get instant feedback. I mean, when you shoot this, when you hit it, you hear it. Okay, you don't have to shoot. You're not shooting paper, and then you don't really know what's going on until later. And you walk up on your target and look closer, and then you got to, you know, tape up your holes and go back and waste a lot of time doing that. This really is great. It's extremely responsive to you. It's very portable, this thing. It's, uh, it's not super, super heavy. Um, I'll annotate the weight because I don't remember it offhand. But um, it is portable, has a nice little carry handle, and it folds up. So it's small to throw in a trunk of a car if you go into the range, or in my case, going out to private property to shoot. But uh, anyway, I've been shooting this with pretty much every gun that I own. Uh, everything from a little 22 short all the way up to my AK-47. Now, the specific Evil Roy target that I have is the uh, upgraded heavy-duty version, and that's the AR-550 armored steel. And the only difference between the 500 series and the 550 is the 550 is a little heavier duty, and it will take rifle rounds. Now, I can't shoot rifle rounds right up on it. I only shoot from about 100 yards away. Um, and even then, with my AK, I don't always hit the thing. <laughs> but uh, when I do hit it, it doesn't really cause any damage from that distance. Um, this specific target was uh, $135 plus uh, $30 for another attachment. Now, a lot of people have a hard time going to steel because they do like their paper targets. What I really like about this, let me get to the side here, is the uh, interchangeable heads. It's not welded together. All you have are two bolts and two wing nuts here, okay? Just by taking these off. Just like that, two seconds. You can take the whole head of the plate off here. Okay, you put that to the side if you wanted. And now, for another $30 from the website, I think it's a great addition if you do prefer paper, is you throw on this. Okay, let me put this on and I'll explain it. Very simple. They also give you uh, 
some hex, uh, hex nuts as well. But I like these wing nuts because it's real simple. Like you see out here when I'm actually at my shooting range, I don't have to worry about bringing tools or anything. So I just throw those on, tighten it down. And what is this, you may be asking? Well, this is basically a clamp, okay? And what you can do is you loosen this, give you a different view here. You loosen this up and then you can put your wood in here, like your little, you know, you know, two by fours or whatever you want to put in there. And of course, because it does have a, uh, a bolt through here, it, you know, expands and contrasts enough where you can put something very small in here, a small piece of wood uh, or something a lot larger. And what's cool about this is that now you have your uprights, okay? Now I don't have anything here at the moment to show you this, but picture this. You have your, your wood frame, you have two wooden uprights. Then all you have to do is staple or nail a piece of cardboard across, and that's it. Now you have your paper target ready. Then you get your actual, your physically paper targets, and you just thumbtack them or staple them to the cardboard, and you're all set. This is a fantastic addition. Um, I have used this twice just for uh, sighting in my guns. Once I sight them in and I know that everything's good, um, I don't have to worry about it because then I throw the steel plate back on and I, I prefer that, like I said, not only do I get the instant feedback uh, when I shoot, but um, it's just a lot easier than having to change out paper and worry about throwing out all those targets and everything. But if you are stuck on paper shooting, which some people are, obviously, if you're a competition shooter, you're probably better off suited with the the steel target because that's pretty much what you're going to be shooting anyway um, but if you're really going for accuracy or if you're some kind of a guy who likes to shoot rifle from like 100 yards to 300 yards and you just want to get that really precise group you can't use a steel target for that that's where this is going to definitely come in handy but anyway let me change this back real quick as you saw it's really really simple to do I did find that when I'm shooting uh, bigger rounds these tend to loosen up a little bit. After every 50 to 100 rounds, I come back and I just hand tighten them. But it's not a big deal. But uh, it's really, it's been a fantastic target for me. Ever since I got it, I really can't go back to shooting anything else, to be honest. I've, do, I've done all kinds of targets before. You've seen I've shot a uh, an empty oil drum, which is a burn barrel for the property here. But uh, it's just, I, I, I don't really know what to say about it. It's, it's a fantastic uh, product. I mean, I don't, I've never had any experience with any other kind of uh, steel targets before. But just from, uh, from having fun with this and seeing what this can do uh, and comparing it to other things that are on the market, I think the price is definitely worth it. Um, if you're not going to be shooting rifle at all, you can get the, uh, the 500 series version. And that goes for $115. So it's a little bit cheaper. But anyway, one, one other note real quick. The sides of these, these bolts here, they have a square in them, okay? And the square fits into a square hole inside of this, uh, uh, this steel part here. So basically, when you're you know, turning this down, they won't freely spin. So I do like that too. It makes it real easy to, uh, to actually set up. One more thing about this. If you look from a side angle, you'll see that it is angled downward, okay? When rounds hit this, they hit and then they shatter downward and out, okay? A lot of people are, are scared of shooting steel. They think they're gonna get ricochets. There's not a 100% guarantee it's not gonna ricochet, but I can tell you just from shooting it and from experience that the, the splatter pattern goes out about 10 feet from left to right in front of the target and only comes out about five to 10 feet out. So you're safe if you're shooting this target, you know, anywhere from 20 feet on. You really don't have to worry about it at all. It is very safe. You can see a lot of competitions, a lot of law enforcement practice with steel targets consistently for years and years. So it is a safe version of, uh, of a target. So you don't really have to worry about that. But um, it's just been, it's been so fantastic, guys. I really can't explain it enough. It's so worth it. If you shoot a lot, it, it really is. Um, I do have the 12-inch plate on it. Uh, I mainly got that because I'm shooting at longer distances. I don't like to shoot real up close. Um, the closest I'll get to this is about about 10 yards, 15 yards at the most. I don't get any closer just because of the splatter. I just want to play it a little bit safe. But anyway, you can get these from Action Targets uh, or ActionTarget.com. I'll put a link in the uh, description box. And they have a whole bunch of targets, all kinds of stuff, and different interchangeable heads. Um, 
but I'm happy with this. I really don't need anything else. So this is my go-to target now. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry if this sounds like somewhat of a commercial or something, but it's just, it's really exciting product that I've, I've, I found uh, actually watching YouTube videos and I'm glad I was exposed to it because I love it. Oh, I almost forgot something. I didn't show you how it uh, breaks down. <laughs> it's very simple. I did tell you it's compact. I'm actually going to uh, pack up right now and, and head out. So I figured I'd film this portion for you so you could see how it folds up. And by the way, there also is two different positions. This is the um, higher of the two. The other position will actually be a little bit lower. But anyway, this pops up, the legs go in, and then this whole thing actually rotates backwards here. Just like so. And of course, this provides you with your carry handle. Um, that's it. Throw it in the back of your trunk and you're ready to go. So, thanks for watching guys. Take care.